Many people enjoy slot machines. They're attracted to the possibility of a big win and decide to spend some of their entertainment budget on it. They know the chances of winning a jackpot are slim, but enjoy the playing, hoping, and anticipating. They may be disappointed when they don't win, but feel their losses match their enjoyment. Most slot players have an idea of their limit, that is, the amount they intend to spend. This is also the amount they can afford to lose. Difficulties arise when people exceed their limits. To keep your risk low, it's important to know how slot machines do and do not work. Two ways of understanding how a slot machine works are presented in the following illustrations. See which best reflects your view. By the way, one is a common myth. Many people think a slot machine works like marbles on a conveyor belt. The outcomes for each play are placed along the conveyor belt. Despite the many pictures on the play line, a slot machine has three general outcomes. A loss, a small win, or a big win. The hoped-for big win, of course, is why you're playing. Most plays are losses, so the vast majority of outcomes are white. Small wins are far less likely, but there are some. And, of course, there are very few big wins. Every outcome is random, so instead of being nicely spaced, wins appear in an unpredictable manner. Randomness means there are no patterns, and no one can correctly predict when a win will occur. Now, in this view of how a slot machine works, each play moves the conveyor belt forward one step. This suggests the next win, wherever it is, is one step closer. So, on a 25-cent machine, if you had a $25 limit and lost it all, you might think you moved the next jackpot 100 steps closer. Before you walk away, a problem emerges. How do you know whether the very next play isn't a big win, the payoff for your investment so far? The only way to know for sure is to play. It turns out to be a loss. But what about the next one? Another play and another loss. And so the trap of playing beyond your limit takes hold. In the heat of the moment, some players will go to an ATM and take out extra money. They do it because, in this understanding, the key to winning is persistence, hanging in until the big win arrives. Besides, if they leave now, the very next player could benefit from their investment and win their jackpot. They've heard of this and would never forgive themselves if it happened to them. A different way to understand how a slot machine works starts with a simple bag of marbles. To begin, we'll have 19 losing white marbles and a single red win. In order to make the outcome random, the bag is given a good shake. Now, there's no way to predict where the red marble is. On each play of this slot machine, your 25-cent bet allows you to reach into the bag and take out one marble. Since there are 20 in all, your odds of winning are 1 in 20. You take out a marble, and it's white. You've lost this time. Now, stop and ask yourself the odds at this point. There are 19 marbles left in the bag, 18 white and one red. It would be natural to conclude they were 1 in 19. But before you draw, you must first replace the losing marble in the bag, bringing the odds back to 1 in 20. And the bag gets shaken again to mix up and randomize the marbles. Now your second draw is exactly the same as the first 1 in 20 odds in a freshly shaken bag. And no matter how many times you draw, the odds remain exactly the same. They never get any better. This truth results from the replacement or reload feature that applies to every play of every slot machine. The losing marble always gets put back in the bag. But, you say, at 1 in 20 odds, you'll win sooner or later, so it's not that bad a deal. However, on real slot machines, the odds of a jackpot are much higher. They vary from one machine to the next, but we'll use one in a million. Instead of a bag, picture a large cylinder with a trap door to draw from. To hold one million marbles, it would be 15 feet long and 10 feet high. Buried 
in the million marbles is the single red jackpot. Before each play, the cylinder is spun to randomize the marbles. For each 25 cent bet, you reach in without looking and take out a marble. If you choose a white one, you lose. Then, you must reload the game by putting the losing marble back in the cylinder before it spins again. And for each play, you repeat this process with the same randomly mixed one in a million odds. So, which do you think is correct? The conveyor belt or the cylinder? By now, you've probably figured out that the cylinder accurately shows how a slot machine works. The conveyor belt is wrong because it doesn't include the all-important reload feature, and past wins or losses have no bearing on the next jackpot. The cylinder introduces three important questions. Are you likely to win a jackpot? No. The likelihood of winning in any session is extremely small because the machine reloads and randomizes one million marbles for each play. Is it possible to win the jackpot? Yes, it is possible. But remember, the machine reloads each play and the odds always stay at one in a million. When you reach your limit, does it make any sense to spend money you can't afford to lose? No. Slots are never due for a win. Losing that money is as close to a guarantee as you'll get from gambling. There's still the question of whether the next player will get your jackpot if you leave when you reach your limit. If you think about the million marbles in the cylinder, it's virtually impossible for the next player to choose exactly the same marble as you. The same is true for slot machines. It's almost impossible for the next player to get the same outcome you would have. Given what you've learned about how slot machines do and do not work, what do you do with it? The best advice anyone can offer is to protect yourself from harm. Here are seven habits to keep your play problem-free. 1. Set your limit. Before heading to the slots, decide how much money you can afford and are prepared to lose. 2. Avoid a cushion. Take only your limit with you. Leave all extra money at home. 3. Plan your departure. Think about how long it will take to play to your limit. Plan on leaving the slots area at that time. 4. Avoid ATMs. Make an unbending rule to never withdraw extra cash at the slots venue for gambling. If you ever have, leave your debit and credit cards at home. 5. Cool down. Once you reach your limit, leave the slots area. Go to a lounge or refreshment area and allow temptation to cool. 6. Recall the guarantee. When tempted to go over your limit, recall that you're likely to lose every extra dollar you spend. 7. Picture the cylinder. Think about having to choose one marble from a million and the futility of betting money you can't afford to lose. The bottom line in slots play is to maximize your enjoyment while reducing your risk. At this point, you have everything you need to know to make this goal a reality.